it's Diane here from Deco Easy and welcome to our channel and welcome to our new video. If you want to stay tuned for more videos from decorating in the Netherlands then please hit the subscribe button and if you like this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up. So we're here today and I'm going to participate in the UFO challenge or as you call it the unfinished object challenge which is hosted by This and That with Janice Jordan and Shara C. I want to thank both of the ladies for setting up this beautiful challenge. And I was really hot actually for me to, yeah, finish something unfinished because first of all, I didn't know what to finish. I mean, as you can see right here, I'm all in the full mood. I decorated the inside and outside of the house with full decorations. And then my mother-in-law, Jenny, which is also on this channel, gave me the tip, why didn't you decorate your kitchen? It's actually not in the full mood. I thought, oh, that's a good idea. But I didn't have any inspiration. So I looked for some YouTube videos and suddenly I thought, well, it's a good idea to decorate it. And I got something in my shed, which was a nice tray, which I'm going to use. And first of all, I want to show you my kitchen because it's really empty and there is not anything full in it. So please come with me. So this is my undecorated kitchen. As you can see, there is a lot of white and black in there. And I don't have any decorations except for the cafe sign back there. And an artificial plant and some thin cans and stone cupcake figures but that is actually all and I was a bit bored so I also have a nice clock here which my mother-in-law made for me several years ago but there's not anything in to fall so therefore oh yeah, and there's an artificial plant right there therefore I want to decorate this corner for you I hope you like it Let's get started. It's actually this tray and I want to decorate it. I hope you can see it up here. It's a bit tiny in there. Yeah, I think I'll leave it this way. And I think I'm going to decorate it. Yeah, I'm decorate it for fall right now. All so right, gathered all my stuff together. I forgot to tell that I bought this um, don't know how to call it in English actually. This tray, um, I think, well, let me take a look. Yeah, it's, 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 I suppose it's from Riverdale, but I'm not quite sure. It was in the Riverdale corner, but I can't see any sign of Riverdale upon the tray. Anyway, I bought it uh, for 50% off. First it was 60 euros, but now it was only 30, and it's a very decent quality thing. It's very heavy, so that's also uh, yeah, anything for me in the kitchen. It has to be safe, so it can't be too light and that it actually turns over and falls apart and everything is on fire and stuff like that. So, um, let me see what I got for decoration. A cute pumpkin. I think it was the red or green before, but I used spray paint to make it silver. And I also have one here in no original color, so which is nice. I have two cute hedgehogs. I think they're several years old. I bought them at some kind of Dollar Tree store for 50 euro cents, maybe a little bit more, but couldn't be much. Um, and here I have some wooden leaves. See close it right there. Sit right there, yeah. Thank you. It's made from wood and I bought a pack, I think ten or twenty in it. Anything between that. For just one euro, so that's cheap. So well. Focus isn't working here. Wait, I'll pick up some more. Does this help? Yes, it helps. Some nice decorations. I have these beautiful fall leaves. Hello. 
I'm back. Thank you. Made from plastic. I bought the whole branch for 80 cents. I think they're about 20 leaves upon one branch. And they also have flowers, which I used in the whole house, and I got some left. And the flowers are two on each branch, and I bought it for 80 cents. So that's me. It's quite cheap. All right, let's start. And I think I'm going to speed this part up because it's really boring to look at in slow motion. Be back with you soon after decorating. Results. I put my kitchen towel back and also the cans filled up with coffee and tea and I think I have a quite full styled corner on top I used the flower the pine cones the leaves there are the hedgehogs and down there I have pumpkins together with nuts I like the color of the tree it's perfect into the full theme color of my whole house first I wanted to spray paint it silver or gold but I'm actually want to see right now I'm quite happy that I left it in this color look it's quite shiny I think that's a great match together with this pumpkin. Yeah, I like it. Um, I'm not then done yet. I think I want to use some more bolted items upon my microwave slash oven, and of course in the wreath because when I take a look at this wreath, I actually think it's quite boring. So I'll be back with you. Just one moment, and I'm back. I just decorated a little bit of the wreath 
with greenery leaves and this cute flower. I've chosen a small flower, not the big one, which I already used upon the tree. And I think I'll leave it this way. Looks like nature, looks like fall. Love the colour, so yeah. And then the microwave. I found this cute guy. Made from stone. Used some pine cones and a green relief. And there I used some fall leaves in the existing artificial plant which I already placed there. And a candle. The flame can move. It's not on right now because it's on timer. So when it gets dark it automatically turns on. Such a bad light over here. Dawn. Yeah, now you can see the true colours. Love it this way. Love him as well. Right. I think I leave this cafe corner as it is. Leave the sink as well as it is. And there I found this beautiful painting on canvas in my shed. So I placed it behind the stove, which is quite safe because when I start cooking I turn this glass plate up so it covers actually the whole painting, which is nice. And then I have this cute tree. Can't believe how easy actually it was to do. And I can't believe why I didn't finish this before. Because now the kitchen looks like full as well. And I'm happy with the results. And I hope you were also happy to watch this video. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also to watch the video of my mother in law Jenny. She made a lovely lantern. So yeah, this was it. I had a fun time. I hope you had a fun time as well. And I would be pleased if you watch our next video. Bye bye!